Coverdale Bible The Epistle of the Apostle St. Paul to the Romans The Sum of this Epistle, Chapter 14 The weak ought not to be despised. No man should offend another's conscience. Again, for outward things should no man condemn another. The fourteenth chapter. Him that is weak in the faith, receive unto you, and trouble not the consciences. One believeth that he may eat all things, but he that is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth, for God hath received him. Who are thou that judgest another man's servant? He standeth or falleth unto his Lord. Yea, he may well stand, for God is able to make him stand. Some man putteth difference between day and day, but another man counteth all days alike. Let every man be sure of his meaning. He that putteth difference in the day doth it unto the Lord, and he that putteth no difference in the day doth it unto the Lord also. He that eateth, eateth unto the Lord, for he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not, eateth not unto the Lord, and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth to himself, and none dieth to himself. If we live, we live unto the Lord. If we die, we die unto the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For thereto died Christ, and rose again, and revived, that he might be Lord both of dead and quick. But why judgest thou thy brother, or thou other, why despisest thou thy brother? We shall all be brought before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As truly as I live, saith the Lord, All knees shall bow unto me, And all tongues shall knowledge unto God. Thus shall every one of us give a compt for himself unto God. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know, and am full certified in the Lord Jesus, that there is nothing common of itself, but unto him that judgeth it to be common, to him is it common. But if thy brother be grieved over thy meat, then walkest thou not now after charity. Destroy not with thy meat him for whom Christ died. See therefore that your treasure be not evil spoken of, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness, and peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. He that in these things serveth Christ, pleaseth God, and is commended of men. Let us therefore follow those things which make for peace, and things wherewith one may edify another. Destroy not the work of God for any meat's sake. All things truly are clean, but it is evil for that man which eateth with hurt of his conscience. 
it is much better that thou eat no flesh, and drink no wine, nor any thing whereby thy brother stumbleth, or falleth, or is made weak. Hast thou faith? Have it with thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in the thing which he alloweth. But he that maketh conscience of it, and yet eateth, is damned, because he doth it not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith, that same is sin.